U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken is meeting Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. This is his 11th trip since October 7th attack. The big question is, can he find the middle ground for a ceasefire as the Biden administration tries to find answers to how the Israel's Iran attack plan was licked? Here's a report. Amid fierce fighting between Israel and Hezbollah in Lebanon and the ongoing military escalation in Gaza, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken has arrived in Israel to revive ceasefire negotiations. The war shows no signs of slowing down. With Israel striking over 230 targets in Lebanon and Gaza and Hezbollah launching missiles deep into Israeli territory, hitting areas near Haifa and Tel Aviv. As Blinken tries to prevent further escalation, a new crisis complicates his mission. The leak of top-secret Israeli plans to strike Iran. The leaked documents have fueled speculation about who is responsible for the breach, raising four possible scenarios. The first theory is that Iranian hackers penetrated US intelligence leaking the plans to undermine Israel and bolster Tehran's position. The second theory points to a rogue actor within the US government, though investigations suggest that this is unlikely. The third, more controversial theory points that the Biden administration itself leaked the documents to delay Israel's attack, avoiding a larger conflict ahead of US elections. Some suggest that Israel intentionally leaked the plans to mislead Iran, diverting attention from the real timing or location of any potential strike. It has been over 21 days since Iran unleashed 180 missiles at Israel. The country has reiterated the retaliation will be deadly, painful and surprising for the Islamic Republic of Iran. However, despite the rhetoric, Israel is yet to carry out its promised retaliation. Experts have repeatedly pointed out at Tehran's warning of not taking any Israeli action lightly and hitting back with full might. US has also been beefing up its presence in the region. The US military has deployed its advanced anti-missile system THAAD, which further bolsters Israel's already formidable anti-missile defenses. The Biden administration has been urging Israel to calibrate its response to avoid triggering a broader war in the region. The big question now is what targets will Israel choose to attack in Iran as it intensifies its battle in Gaza and Lebanon? For all the latest news, download the Wii on app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.